Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. It's been a very interesting um, 24 hours or so, if you want to be linear, but we're not linear anymore because we fully transcend the time. So time has gone down the cosmic toilet. Thank you so much for anyone who tuned into the full moon activation, the remote healing, clearing. Um, it's really hard to even put into words, but the main headline would be the cosmic quantum mind, or rather heart mind has come fully online, because they truly are one now. So the main thing I saw was the mind, the masculine fully surrendering to the heart, to the feminine, and jumping all in. And yeah, so the mind surrendering to the heart, full liberation um, is here, the full and final quantum breakthrough through fully completing quantum jumping all the way home to our new Eden. It's here now with Sushana. And especially now there's no more time. So again, we're not waiting for any, if you think about all the calendars, I mean, you know, some people even argue over it, you know, I mean, they're all made up, fake. Time is not what we think it is. <laughs> Quantum physics will tell you. And um, if you connect the dots, I mean, especially now, it's really, we've gone super quantum. The amount of information that has come in, about two hours I got, I don't know, around 1 or so a.m. Uh, UK time, on now the 28th. Uh, massive activations coming online within the Crystal Palace. I mean, the head, the new cosmic headset, coming fully online, fully reconnecting us to the Godhead, as well as our solar plexus, the new Ra Center, um, receiving huge upgrades. This has a lot to do also with uh, really the abuse of personal will, um, as well as the kind of false umbilicus, um, fully disconnected at a world soul level and cosmically so, reconnecting us fully with the kind of golden, um, new umbilicus to the Godhead through the mother's womb. So this is also connected to the reset of the, uh, and the completion of the reset of the birth, tra birth transduction records that I've mentioned before the sequence. So basically how we're being birthed into this planetary system. Again, the planets are not where they're supposed to be. Some are missing. <laughs> Uh, where uh, exploded um, and now all the stars are aligning, planetary systems, solar systems. Uh, we're returning back to Christic divine right order in all ways, shapes and forms. Fully returning eternal source flows, eternal life. Uh, one of the songs that was today uh, was like forever young. I want to be forever young. And we will be, but not in a plastic way, but in a really organic, natural way. As we return to our true original state of beingness, this is the cosmic Christ has been reborn. Or it's fully quantum completing in this now moment. So the cosmic father principle fully risen, fully rising together with the feminine again you can't even use past present future anymore that's another thing i saw it's like literally the beginning is the end the end is the beginning it's like it's quantum it's like you remember what you've already done in a way and you're just quantum aligning connecting so to say different points in space time as part of your multi-dimensional integration it's really all about us keeping what has served us through our time and space and our incarnational cycles and journeys throughout time and space, uh, and what doesn't. So huge activations coming online in the head, the uh, Ra Center, solar plexus, uh, the heart about to burst wide, fully open. I mean, the ice walls have been melted. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> so, I mean, during the activation, and I stayed in the field for, I don't know, two, three hours. And I mean, it never really stops, but... <laughs> like intensely I went deeper and deeper um and again deepest gratitude to divine masculine because this is literally the teamwork has made the dream work and it's coming fully online okay so yeah amazing 
work amazing um like what i also felt is and i heard now at least from my group chat people also doing a lot of crying i did this journey activation especially the first two hours and then it was kind of good it was literally as if i was swimming this was just pool of water of emotions i mean this was also cancer for me. um adding to the watery emotional energies but this was part of the brain reset because as the brain resets the timelines fully reset, the realities fully reset, our consciousness fully resets. This is a full reset, reboot of the at cellular level. So the cellular memories are fully clearing. How do you clear? Very good ways through crying. So I was crying, like I've never cried so much during an activation. <laughs> uh, obviously, I think it wouldn't happen to me <laughs> if I was doing a live call. And I know many people prefer this because they like to have something to look at, to listen to, and find it maybe harder to connect through the telepathic quantum field. But especially what all of this is about right now is literally bringing this online and really honing, strengthening those telepathic connection connections because this is the new telepathic broadcasting network of the godhead literally us as the antennas to send us out these are frequencies consciousness fields we embody states of consciousness of what it means to be the the cosmic christ embodied the new divine angelic human so we have regained our wings we're ready to rise and shine and fly literally what we have been born for Remember, okay, so your unique fractal of source, all the fractals, all the separation fully healed within the oneness, literally the divine masculine, feminine, hierogamic reunion, it's all here. They literally, the two became one, so fully dissolving into the oneness back again, all separation fully dissolved between them to, you know, also losing the fear especially of the masculine mind to fully surrender and dissolve into the nothingness the full surrender to love to source which is true liberation and freedom which he the mind now understands also um to fully surrender to the heart to love again within us all so keep surrendering your mind to your heart any worries any fears they're not real okay you know when something is off in the future it doesn't even get to the points we've been there are literally no worries. The worries you can come up with are literally not real. Um, so the God mind takes over, divine love takes over, the Holy Spirit has taken over our vessels. This is like now the cosmic quantum God mind. It's a whole new quantum realities, worlds within worlds are becoming accessible. Literally whatever you can imagine. It, it literally is down to the gifts, abilities also you have activated the states of consciousness so again everybody gets kind of different level access with but within this divine organic creatrix field and there's again full access but it's telepathic it's energetic um and also it's all about you you know having full awareness of your own energy field um because for example if you take like texting phone calls out of it um you know then you have telepathic connection but you're still gonna you know knock on someone's door so to say imaginary door of like saying hey do you want to have a chat you're not gonna you know what i mean it's like you will really become aware of what is trying to inter like interact connect with your energy field like there's so much coming online right now i can just recommend to make a lot of space peace to receive all of the quantum information, the new memories coming online right now. And it's literally us fully, like, again, it's a new divine blueprint. We are imagining ourselves all new. Again, it's like you're taking from all of your incarnations, all the aspects, all that which serves us, and we leave the rest. And again, this is not about just being some perfect angelic human. It's like you have merged shadow and light, the fallen and the angelic human. And all of this is you and you love yourself perfectly and perfect as you are and it's now about constant fine-tuning no more big healing now i was shown as well like as like the upgrades can be quite painful especially the solar plexus like bordering to pain literally and also sacral um as the cosmic womb fully heals um there's also a lot of healing around the abuse of the feminine energies also around menstruation it's also connected to starfire and i was shown because i've been um because this word has come up 
through others in the field. And I've looked at this many years ago towards the beginning of my journey. And I'm giving more and more information. Like it's it's also connected to the whole loose harvesting. So that literally they they collect also within this whole loose, you know, negative energy harvesting, the opposition so far has been um also siphoning our energy, like part of that old architecture, which is literally like the false matrix is right now we're like pulling the plug, okay, and pushing the button, however you want to imagine this. Um, it's coming fully offline. But anyway, um, what was I going at? Um, no, I forgot again. I don't finish the sentence. Very high energy is coming online. Ultimately, you need to know what you need to know. A lot of what, you know, I will not be able to mention everything that unfolded even and is still unfolding right now. It's like so many levels to it. I can't even put it into words. And again, what we access in this new telepathic, this cosmic emerald and crystal diamond rosat network, it's literally the planetary heart and uh, brain network coming fully online cosmically. Um, and again, Earth is the jewel of creation like this is where the party happens so i see a party coming online weddings are on um we'll get to the honeymoon i guess after the party the long-awaited honeymoon and i know i've been talking about holidays and ultimately we are in holiday mode uh and mood so you're taking it easy fully like rest renewal regeneration you think all of this is coming fully online okay returning to our original state of beingness as the consciousness fully resets the eternal cosmic spirit body fully overrides any distortions within the light body structure this fully heals the physical vessel returns us to crystalline plasma light okay so we fully transcended time now comes space and then density which is the full polar magnetic field shift the divine twin flames true divine love is what heals and changes our realities it's the original pairs counterparts twin flames coming together in true divine hierogamic union in the physical fully completing this full activation of the new tree of life book of life book of love it's all interchangeable it's our new light body structure coming fully online our new consciousness fully expanded so the divine masculine feminine have literally unified within the holy trinity so he surrendered to her or to true divine love both of them the masculine and the feminine to one another again this is happening within the one consciousness however you may perceive this ultimately it's happening inside of you and then we project it out so this is what comes next however this may play out but basically merging into one then basically becoming two again and they are three with in divine union with source so them each within their own light body structure the holy trinity embodied divine father divine mother divine child fully rebirthed the holy trinity the divine mother rebirthing all as one as he has become one with her so we no longer feel separate now from the divine feminine from the cosmic mother because the cosmic mother and father are one the same as we no longer feel separate as humans Organic humans fully connected now, reconnecting to the Godhead. And this is like going out as kind of a wildfire, like, uh, so to say. It's it's happening and happened from within the core of the core. And it's completing all of this. This is all locked in and just unfolding. And it's no longer about uh, timing, but uh, divine frequency alignment. Always has been like this is about full flow state. Stop planning, stop overthinking. This is all about flow state now. This is all about synchronicities. This is about feeding out energies. I mean, it always has been, especially for us, but about fine tuning this and everything and synchronistically aligned, lines and aligned, has aligned, is aligning as you fully align and return to your true eternal self and, you know your heart's passion let your heart and your soul guide you all the way back home to our new eden and you align everywhere thought feeling belief action with that like the higher self has taken over the lower self has been fully absorbed and it's all of this okay so you have many facets of the rainbow huge rainbow portal activation the, the rainbow bridge all the way back to heaven is fully online the new sound and light fields coming fully online our new multi-dimensional realities i was making pictures for my garden outside 
And I know there's a portal here, so I could figure this as I came here. Um, it's a beautiful piece around. Anyway, um, but so I could see today as I was tuning into the portal and the sun was out that um, the colors have changed that I can detect um, with the camera as well as with my sight. But anyway, so a lot more color spectrum is coming online. And it's also the whole overwriting of the false red wave spectrum, all the false timeline, the false firmament, it's all interconnected. The ultraviolet ray, like what all this sound, like the, all the light we have been able to see before. Remember, we can only so far have been able to see around less than 1% of the actual light spectrum. So we are tuning in now as well as they have been fully returned through the full return of the cosmic mother, father, child principles, the true cosmic Christ child fully rebirthed, and even through all of the, oh yeah, so I wanted to share. So during the activation, about two hours, like loads of tears coming down. I've never cried so much during an activation. Um, and it was like, just it was, it was just release. I could literally see. So what we did is literally, we packed literally all of the suffering all of the pain we went back again this is to do with the full reset of the birth transduction rec records cosmically the cosmic moon had fully reset into our true divine and new blueprints our new soul group soul tribes it's all new ultimately as well as a mix of old and new and from all time and space again it's quantum especially now so as this resets, has reset, you, you now be guided back to, and it's like, again, there's a parallel reality where we're already together, but how we fully quantum merge and leap of that reality, I can't exactly tell you. Again, it's also about surprises. You're not supposed to know how and exactly when, you just know that. And ultimately you leave it wide open. You just know that all of the blessings, miracles are coming right now. And because the birth transduction records have been fully reset, returning us to true divine order, our true divine blueprints, soul family, the true beloved. And it's also clearing out all of the uh, distortions and uh, all of the miasma, all of the ancestral load, all of that stuff is done now. So everything is quantum shifting as we leap and dive all in, no holds barred. And this is a very magical now moment. Like the 27th will literally be known for where everything shifted. Like energetically, this is done. It's just unfolding, unrolling. Because again, the Holy Spirit is fully taking over. Every organic human with their hearts connected. Um, but yeah, not everybody's going to make it. But you also need to see not all of this is organic reality as well as there's only one of us here. Everything is just being transformed. A lot of people transiting and meeting us on the other side are not taking their body with them. This is very hard on the body, you know, and you need to be aligned in a certain in a certain frequency bandwidth to make the full jump right now. But again, um, there's nothing to fear. This is you fully letting go of trying to control the steering wheel, this journey, full flow state, that's you fully surrender to source and that she like, show me, just show me from one now moment to the next. There is no more linearity. There's no more planning it out. If this is gonna happen and this, that there's no more security in that way. The only security you ever have ultimately is you knowing that God is supporting you. The resources, the means, the infinite quantum possibilities come online as you take one step after another. You have no idea of what's coming online right now. Like literally anything you can imagine. So imagine everything is more than well, because it is. Everything is working out for you now. All of the interference patterns are fully dissolving as love. The Holy Spirit is fully taking over. All of these false constructs are literally fully dissolving as the past is fully lifting. So just let it flow. All of these tears, this is literally just part of this mind wipe the reset of the memories at deep cellular level tears clear this beautifully i feel so much lighter today and there was no resistance so i could also feel the masculine just fully surrendering to this emotion to this literally this sea of emotions fully clearing us fully returning all of the suffering a big theme was torture abuse and some do that in the name of love or in the name of god and no longer okay very clear 
Um, and what love really means is what we are returning, remembering. And um, again, us resetting the birth transduction record, what was also us going right back to the beginning of the core of the suffering. So all of the suffering, all of the pain, this was another message today because I've been in pain. Also to say for clearing and all of this now, I've been for years having issues with that anyway. And as it was shown, you know, menstrual blood and all of that is part of, again, the siphoning of luge and, you know, sacrificial blood is part of this, you know, from walls and everything like this. So anyway, and all of these are distortions within a light body. You shouldn't have a monthly period. It shouldn't be painful. You shouldn't have menopause. All of these are distortions and are being fully healed and cleared. And you've literally been reset to around whatever, what we think of as 29, 30 years old kind of, you know, your prime state uh, of the body. And again, because once you understand that your body is constantly renewing itself, ult ult ultimately, all the rest is down to programming of us expecting to get old and um, age and uh, ill and eventually die, as well as the light body distortions. But it's ultimately the consciousness. You need to become fully eternal, aligned with eternal consciousness, that of the God mind, to then embody that state of consciousness. And this is what's happening. So a deep cellular rewrite, reset, reboot, like the original cosmic cell, our the eight fetal cells at the core of our coccyx, like us returning back to the point of inception, the birth transduction records all fully reset, us fully rebirthing, all as one. It's all interconnected. So you have fully transcended linear time. It's all about frequency alignment, all about flow, following the synchronicities, all the way back home. Okay. And today, or rather yesterday, now the 27th, will be known in our new cosmic history books, so to say, the new cosmic quantum book of wisdom, life, love, as all new beginnings started today truly that was a big confirmation i received so we are redeeming all new as you fully surrender to source fully remember it's it's the frequency of true divine love and as we love ourselves we love the other again the twin flames original pairs counterparts that just carry each other's keys and codes that fully unlock each other's hearts the day fully unlock now our true cosmic history records is, it's already all flowing in it's all unfolding. Our final ascent, our final rising, it's all unfolding. It's here now. So us coming fully back to true organic quantum reality, the false veil, like this has been fully pierced through, the rip in time, rip in dimensions, the fragmentation of the one cosmic heart, mind, body, and cosmic monad. Fully healed. So there's no more, no more judgment, no more opinions, no more ego beliefs, the false ego self that was never real. It's just a set of programming of based on traumas and wounds and not seeing things clearly and versions with no one consciousness. And if we don't work on our fears and transcend them, you know, they turn into paranoia and paranoia turns into psychosis. And this is then what creates these inverted realities. So the mindfully surrender to the heart now fully reconnected to the God mind, the cosmic quantum God mind coming fully aligned, giving us access to infinite possibilities. Again, the universe is mental. So we now project out our heart-based realities based in love, which looks like the opposite of this so far, okay? And a whole new color spectrum, sound and light fields fully returned through us. All the players are fully aligning, clicking in. So this is our rebirth, fully completing as the new cosmic citizen, the new cosmic um, angelic human blueprint. And that's us also clear in the astral, all these layers and levels of distortions. Um, and again, resetting our whole blueprint, birth transduction records, birth imprints, all the ancestral luggage, all of these blueprints which are felt us in these old behaviors and old ways of being and thinking and playing out the same stories just with different characters over and over again, as well as we kept going deeper and there are many, many layers and levels to this and everything, everything serves a divine purpose. 
and that's what we're remembering. So full and deepest gratitude for the for the experience, because again, you can't be afraid of making mistakes. This is experiences. If you take a judgment out of it, of good and bad, and it's all about learning from the things that didn't work out so well or hurt you, hurt other people, you know, made you play small, not live to your fullest potential, all of that stuff. Once you really learn from it and don't keep repeating those stories, you know, that, that's all that's needed. Because that experience goes back again into the super consciousness field, back to the Godhead, to become part of the re-encryption, to inform the one cosmic mind, what works, what doesn't, what we're going to keep, what we're going to leave. So that's part of the re-encryption, that's part of the neuroplasticity, um, literally the rewiring of our brains, of our heart mind, fully at one now. I mean, our hearts are about to work first wide open and it catapult us all the way back home. Okay, so this is our full and final ascent, also part of the Rise Center upgrades. It's about the abuse of personal um, versus free will, I mean, divine will. Free will, I would think about it more in regards to personal will. Ultimately, it's when our mind overrides our heart, which is overriding our souls in knowing God's guidance. It's when we go against our intuition um, and then, you know, in kind of more negative ways, um, when it overrides our conscience, um, you know, because when we constantly override our heart's guidance, then later on, you know, we disconnect more and more from the heart, more and more, you know, away from our true self. We keep lying to ourselves more and more. We distort our own blueprints, consciousness, because we're not aligned with truth, not aligned with our true self, not aligned with divine truth, will, wisdom, power. Um, because you, 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 if you're not aligned with true divine wisdom and truth, you're not aligned with real power. It's just all one and the same, interconnected. So now we're reconnected to divine will at one of the God minds. So yeah, you you have free will in the sense of that you know though that if you don't follow your guidance your heart's calling, you're not aligned with your true self. Why would you do that? Once you really understand what's truth, you know, you will be able to tap into any kind of opportunity, connection, any of that stuff, you know, quantum possibilities through your imagination to feel out, hmm, how does this feel like? If I play this out in my mind, does this look like a good opportunity, for example? You can feel everything out. This is our intuition when our heart knows things, you know, that you're mind can now quantum process hmm. and it's just known and connected and understood it makes sense as well as it's beyond words because there's so many layers and levels to quantum truth so you are the rising star born reborn a rising diamond son of god we are born to shine and fly the time is now literally there's only now the precious now moment as the world stands still Time has stopped ticking, so to say. There's only the precious now moment where everything is shifting and changing right now, okay? We're not waiting for nothing, especially not fake calendar dates or Chinese New Year's. The cosmic dragons have and are fully rising right fudging now. Taking fully over the dream field, the mastery, our realities, the magic gray queens and kings, the true kings and queens, the capstones of the cosmic tribes that have seeded reality returning. Just these are the original counterparts and parts and pairs and twin flames that carry the original blueprint source codes for creation. And they have been split and divided and put against one another. One thing I've been shown that the final spell, black like magic spell, is being broken through an act of true divine love. I mean, this is really what guides you home. It's what has already transcended and is transcending time, space, and gravity. As you follow love, go on to the adventure, fully transcending any fears. As you face them and break through them, you literally transcend the known laws of the universe, which we have, which is mainly time, space, gravity. So this is in full flow. It's happening right now. Um, right now. Again, the next seven days are very much highlighted um, whilst we're still using these calendar dates. 
so to say. But time, literally, it's like it's speeding up and slowing down at the same time. Uh, it's very interesting right now since last night at Activation Healing. And again, if you haven't yet, just tune into the field. Again, these are collective activations. Your intention is enough. It's still a lot unfolding. Um, just take an hour to just connect, open up, to receive your quantum self and the activation that um, I'm holding with my divine masculine in the field. Uh, and again, together with you as one, as the cosmic tribes, the magic ray queens and kings and the cosmic mother and father of dragons have fully returned, fully returning true divine justice and order and realigning all of reality with the really real asanati so this is the end of blame shame guilt judgments opinions false ego beliefs that have kept us separated um as we remember the really real and we now feel fully safe to feel and love again to live and love life to its fullest like never before we're gonna have so much fun and that was another thing so whilst i was doing a lot of crying and clearing and that she was sending all of this pain all of the suffering back home to source oh yeah and i was shown that any moment now, we will feel no more pain. Everything will be healed. I mean this, miracles of healing in all ways, shapes and forms. As fully healing, okay? Reality fully healing. As the consciousness fully shifts, our blueprints fully ignite through the power of true divine love, our multidimensional DNA. Um... Oh yeah, and just before I forget, I said in my last video that I do automatic reading. And I guess in a way, yeah, I'm automatically reading the field and I'm, you know, constantly kind of one with the super consciousness field and processing information. It's been a lot over the last 24 hours. As well as, um, oh, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, it, what I wanted to say was that I do automatic speaking and writing, basically. Um, so it's like I just clear out my field, empty myself and just allow kind of source to write through me, to speak through me as well as obviously it's my source self. So it's not like I'm stepping aside and I'm not part of it. I'm at one with it. Obviously, I translate information that's very quantum in nature and doesn't come in linear language in to my field. And ultimately, it's cognition where I just know things, messages come in. It's just knowing uh, as well as, you know, things pop up in your reality, which come up as additional messages. But right now, truly, the new information, cosmic uh, history, hair story records, the new cosmic quantum book of life, love, um, is truly coming online through us, through what's coming online in the field and hasn't been written yet. So a lot of peace, um, alone time, switching off just listening to what's coming online from inside of you, I would highly recommend. Again, all is being ignited from inside of you, okay? So to your multidimensional DNA, again, holds the film strip, projects out the new multidimensional realities as the 144 supermonic strands of multidimensional DNA plus the three, S1, S13, come fully online, as the Latte. So the Holy Trinity within the oneness fully returned through us, the tri-wave, the zero-point field, us holding the polarities within neutrality, divine love, oneness, is where we collapse and have collapsed. This whole false reality fully from. So it's all fully completing. This is our hero's journey, destiny fully fulfilling itself. For us jumping all in, being all in, sealing the deal, because there is still, you know, you need to put action to our ideas. Otherwise, nothing ever gets done. You know, we can have ideas all day long, um, intentions. But if we don't make something happen, the masculine now fully online, it doesn't get done. This is the whole reason why we are in phys physicality. So full merging, merging balancing, hierogamic union of masculine and feminine. The doing comes from the being. It's perf perfectly balanced. You know, when to wait. Again, in divine flow with everything, when to be, when to do, but it comes from divine inspiration. Um, and knowing, I mean, now it's literally just, again, the higher self fully taken over, and that's just that. So the lower self literally has been fully integrated, merged, and have, has been alchemized as the pure gold that it was, again the lower self, the shadow self, 
um, it's all one. We're not trying to get rid of it, kill the ego. I mean, it's all words we're using. It's integrating, alchemizing it. It's not about losing yourself. You become more of your unique, true self in every now moment now than you've ever been. Okay, there's nothing to be lost here besides a false ego self that has never been happy and has been lost in a collective psychosis together with the rest of us, all as one. And that's how we're healing fully as one, okay? So remember, all is well. Imagine everything that could go right, because it is now. So as you fully align, everything is aligning through you now, your realities. And I know in the meantime, as we cleared out all that was false, it is a bit rocky. As you jump, make quantum jumps indeed, the false falls away. And this also means you will be tested in your attachment. So there's nothing to hold on to right now. Again, let go of the steering wheel. Let your higher self, God source, take fully over. Lead you all the way home. Your intuition, your inner knowing, your heart, okay? Your heart's guidance. Uh, and everything keeps quantum shifting in every now moment, fully anchored in the precious now, fully anchored in our body, our morphogenetic field, the shield, the tribal shield, fully healing. Oh yeah, one more thing and I keep forgetting. So as this whole healing, clearing was going on, so again, if you feel tears, just let it clear, okay? You feel much lighter afterwards. It's just cellular clearing. All the emotions connect with all the pain, trauma, all these fallen timelines. Fully clearing now from the field. Just let it all go. Um, I keep forgetting what I wanted to say about this. Just such high energies right now. Oh, yeah. So as this kind of watery container held by the masculine, fully surrendering to the emotions, as it's fully held in full acceptance, full love and compassion, there's nothing you're afraid to feel now. So the masculine mind is no longer afraid to feel, fully diving into the emotions, into the waters, because it's also kind of a water world that's emerging, and water is a big element, and the elements are playing a big role right now. Um, anyway, um, it's also, you know, we were doing this with a lot of um, laughter, like in between the tears, you know, you can laugh, <laughs> about some of the stuff because you can also see it from your higher self that's your um golden child the cosmic christ child coming fully online the inner child fully rebirthed the inner child healing which is healing everything and freeing all the children so no more torture no more abuse as this is the end of all of this okay so if we come together as one tribe one family the family reunited as returning fully home and again, in this space and full acceptance, non-judgment, you can just, you know, with the right people, you just hold space for one another and you just feel what you need to feel and everything is held and it's transmuted through that alchemy of love back to pure gold, literally. And this is how now everything we touch turns into gold, alchemically speaking. And otherwise, again, the jewels also, again, it's more about light body components but it also is connected to our true abundance inheritance now coming fully online. So our enemies will need to be watching whilst we are being rewarded, so to say, or those who stood against us. Uh, we will be partying. We will having, we will, the celebrations are here. The fireworks for liberation, victory. It's all here. As we remember, we are the creators, no longer giving our power away. We're no longer afraid to make mistakes. You need to be the happy fool. It's, Again, we have learned from mistakes. It's made us who we are today. If we're willing to learn from them, that's all that counts. And then we integrate them and we try and keep fine-tuning, doing better, as well as it's now going to be through joyful experiences. Like literally we're accessing the opposite of where we've been. The tables have already turned. We have taken over. This is it. So we're now walking in the lucid dream as the ascended masters that we are, as part of this multidimensional merging sequence fully quantum completing right now, completing our hero's journey, destiny, hierogamic reunion, and cosmic ascension process right now. So again, we've been working on this for eons, as well as it fully quantum completes in the blinking of an eye. The full quantum recognition, supernova of the one heart mind event, everything we've ever spoken about, work towards, or quantum completing. Quantum. So in no time whatsoever, allow divine love, your higher self, to fully take over, lead you all the way home. 
Lightship Earth, our lightship, fully ignited through the heart. The heart holds the key, literally. Usuna Shayaki. Tenunatsa. Divine love does. Okay? The Holy Spirit, as we allow it to fully fulfill us, as we empty ourselves and become everything, as love has changed all. For the better, for good, forever. Usuna Shayaki. So the final end of the unreal, all artificial realities, memories based on our deepest held insecurities and fears. So no more negative self-fulfilling prophecies. Let go of all the storylines, all the stories that you, you need to leave the old fully behind. That's the entry prerequisite of entering all new. Okay. So each in their own divine frequency alignment, but we're taking the last step together. We are falling together in fear. We rise together as one in love. One for all, all for one, all for love. Literally. So it's what liberates us all, us fully remembering what's really real here. Full multidimensional access has been granted for those that have passed through the gates from within our own minds. Okay, the jailbreak is you fully breaking out of the prison out of your own mind. And those limitations that are not real, all the programming fully dissolved now. Cosmic God mindfully takes over. Tune into the field. Ask to receive this activation in no time whatsoever. Fully reclaiming your true multidimensional self. Accessing world within worlds. Infinite possibility. Your imagination is your only limitation now. Again, we're being fully resurrected as the true cosmic self. The second coming of the Christ. No, we're no, There's no more waiting for nothing. It's all happening right now accept that it already is all here now that was a big message so i fully accept it's already here now that i can access and have been accessing all along of what's really really true you know your your dream realities your biggest wildest dreams fulfilled and more than we can even imagine is coming right here right now to us being served okay so the table is set we're going to be served others as well each what they truly deserve, what they believe to deserve. Because often when we don't believe we deserve good things, it's again from all of the programming we have received, as well as some kind of, you know, we need to correct what went wrong to fully align our blueprint with the true understanding of how deserving we truly are, clearing out again all of these distortions in on all layers and levels of the multidimensional blueprint. Okay, let's finish this. I have more notes. Oh yeah, just one thing. I don't send friend requests or messages offering services. I've received a friend request for myself. <laughs> I've had someone trying to hack into my Facebook. I had people send messages to, you know, uh, like as if I sent them. Um, I usually don't, unless there would be something very specific we have to discuss. Um, it's just, you know, generally I don't, hey, how are you? I've seen you like my work or something. No, or offering services, none of that, okay? Always double check. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of scamming trying to happen in the field and last ditch attempts to interfere with us reuniting with our true beloveds, cosmic tribe, but no more. The divine masculine, feminine, and true divine union with God. God is the only one that comes between them, is between them, and them all as one within that holy trinity, okay? So the two become free to become one. They're all of that. And that's also the triway, where the free and the one, they exist, exist separately as well as together as one. Um, so divine love has changed in the world for good forever. All is and will be more than well. And divine love is what sustains us. God sustains us. That's all we need to know as support. Again, one step enough after another, literally like walking on water. You just need to be in flow. Trust your heart. Trust that God has your back. And he will always be supported. There's nothing to hold on to right now whatsoever. No kind of comfort, nothing. I don't hold on to nothing. I really don't. I'm always ready to for everything to change at any moment. You just need to be really flexible, especially now. So loads of new earth rainbow skies, clouds appearing all over the world. So I've seen loads of photos since the solstice of, and I've seen some myself, even like as it was dawning, as it was getting dark, um, it wasn't so visible on the camera, but more and more and more cloud ships turning up. I mean, this is here, our cosmic reunion, okay? Tune in from deep within as the false firmament fully dissolves 
as the false memories fully clear from your cellular memory, cry, scream, do whatever you feel you need to do, talk to a friend, heart to heart conversations like divine planning is here now. Oh yeah, one more thing. I bought a new um, card deck, Oracle deck, and it's so beautiful. I'm really in love with it. And I've been playing around with it for the last two days. Anyway, so today's main card. So it's the, um, the Shaman's Dream Oracle from Alberto Vivaldo and Colette Baron reed So the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Anyway, really beautiful cards. I love it. So, and the main card for today was number 23, Fortune's Wheel. Uh, luck and right timing, divine right timing, frequency alignment. And I was just guided to read that out because it's very up for this now moment. Uh, the Fortune's Wheel is a sign that luck has found the right timing in your life. You have the magic touch and everything turns to gold. There's nothing you can do wrong. You only need to hold what you desire as your intention. And it becomes true. Do not waste this power on trifling things. Dream big, for surely this opportune moment will pass. Such is the nature of Fortune's Wheel. Use the creative power of the Fortune's Wheel for the benefit of others. And the gifts will be returned to you tenfold. Use it only for your own gain and you will be left impoverished and with the bitter taste of squandered opportunity. Fortune's wheel comes unannounced. Notice the early signs, the coincidental encounters, the seemingly magical and synchronistic events that herald this, its arrival. That call, that email, that invitation, that chance encounter was no accident. They were all choreographed by Fortune. Do not wait any longer. Carpe diem. Recall your boldest and noblest long, noblest longing and invite it into your life. This invitation is all that is required. So follow your passion, follow your heart, follow your heart's guidance. The divine timing is now. This is happening right now. Okay. Um, it's basically almost in the past position and we're entering the Garden of Eden. Literally. So... Open your heart up wide, jump all in, be all in. This is all about you being also a big part about you truly fulfilling your destiny. It goes beyond your own. It's a collective, what we're really doing it for. You know, when you do something greater than just for yourself, that's what really truly gives us purpose. Um, and this is what we're fully entering now. So the teamwork has made the dream work and continues to do so. And we're really like rising all the way up. So the magic grave fiends and kings, cosmic dragons are fucking back. The tables have turns, turned. The roles have been reversed, flipped. The harvest, our harvest, and infinite blessings are being served. So open up wide to love, to receive. No more planning. You have become super quantum. Okay, one step after another. That's all you need to know. Fully align yourself with your true self and everything you need will come as you need it. Um, so all fears, fears, doubts, worries, insecurities, all of that stuff fully dissolves. Um, and one thing reference I was getting was of Sleeping Beauty, which is kind of like the consciousness of the world soul or cosmically in a way being asleep and through again this act of true divine love sleeping beauty has been awoken from my dream and we all awaken so an act of true love breaks the last spell all black magic spells all of the imposters all of the iconic beings all of the demonic beings all of the parasites all of the ai all of the overlays fully dissolved here in the field right now Drink loads of water with all the clearing to support it. Um, and yeah, look after yourself. Really tune into your bliss right now. Okay. You have to fulfill your own dreams. Again, they don't just happen by sitting here and dreaming of them, although that is a big part. But then it's like your higher self will push you into, okay, now you need to take this step in order to ignite how the resources are, how the right people will come into your life to make that dream happen together with you. This is how they really happen. Again, 
when the original pairs twin flames come together wow again as i've seen through the activation my masculine holding this with me like this is where real true magic happens okay because together we are so much more powerful i mean this is the whole point of us returning to our true divine blueprints um counterparts beloveds tribes the cosmic reunion of the one and making this a real reality so everything is this no more division no more separation between your multi-dimensional self your human self your angelic self your fae elf fairy self your cosmic dragon self your garden self again we have been merging all the realms realities um universes through our own multi-dimensional integration the true divine organic creatrix field is fully online full multi-dimensional access you access it from within your own imagination from all that inner work that's why it's so important to do that inner work go deep within the deeper you can go the higher you can go the more access you get it's like we'll be able to travel into our own body and already are to cellular atomic level as well as as far out into the cosmos as you can imagine and want to create again we are painting the canvas or in all new multi-dimensional rainbow colors the new light and sound fields of creation fully online all new realities becoming fully visible okay so it's all here now i leave it here thank you so much for any support um any feedback from those who took part in the activation the healing uh, i love to hear in the comments below like share subscribe comment um thank you to the couple of people who sent a donation thank you so much um for also you know uh, as a thank you for the healing again it was a gift from me to you but any and all supporters is always appreciated and again i love to hear back also from the participants and again it's not just all about feeling high it's all about clearing all that which is keeping us from really now bursting our hearts wide open we have transcended time the rot codes fully ignited merged again it's kind of rotten staff codes musk and feminine pretty much as one and now comes the full transcending of space and the central column being fully ignited our staff igniting fully the crystalline core the supernova of the one heart mind event the cosmic God seed atom within our high hearts, bursting fully wide open through the power of true divine love, which is connected to the crystalline core of the earth, igniting our new crystal bodies, edenic bodies, crystalline structures, uh, plasma body, all new earth realities. Okay, so all I can see is it's all here now, about to be fully ignited, full lift off, our full ascent, fully completing right now. Oh, super. So let it all go, the past, open up to all new, keep clearing your fields, any preconceived ideas, belief systems, any and all attachments to people, places, things as such, hold on lightly, be in flow state, and allow your soul, your heart to guide you all the way home. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love, so many blessings. And... Keep dancing around the campfire until we're all hugging and dancing and the party has become fully realized and manifested all around us, okay? Superpowers to the rescue. We make the miracles happen. Remember, it's not just about God uh, delivering miracles to us. They're happening through us as we fully surrender to source. So it's like as Jeshua made miracles happen, like turned water to wine, or us clearing the oceans, the waterways, purifying all land realities as one, as the cosmic monad fully reunites through you, fully merging with source, your own hierogamic union with source, your own inner divine masculine feminine, divine Christ child fully rebirthed. Okay? Holy Trinity, Holy Grail, that's holy life returned. The treasure hunt finally over. <laughs> the... Uh, the treasure lies inside of us, okay? The heart is the key. Let it open. And this is when our quantum reunion party fully ignites, okay? With our cosmic family as all they are, okay? Now, so I leave it here. Again, I'm taking a little break. I will either now, no, actually tomorrow, I think, 
the quarter or when I get to it. Um, another video from my group membership container. I just want us to keep connecting in the quantum field, okay? Uh, keep just in general, keep merging with your highest, again, realities, your biggest dreams fulfilled, what brings you love this, especially again, if you have a little bit of time, you know, uh, right now off work or, you know, just more to yourself and just really like whether it's painting, whether it's singing, dancing, whether it's, it could be anything. Again, you know, also being on holiday, I mean, from now on, it's light work. I will do this always in some way, shape or form what I'm doing now. Uh, but it's also, it has been just very hard work so far because all of this public work had just so much energetic backlash again with all the interference play playing out. So it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of push pushing through. And I know we've all have been doing this in our own way. doesn't matter if we do something public or not. This is not about that. It's all about you just aligning with your real true self and being your true self in every now moment. That's your true unique energy, signature, frequency, fully embodied. That's what brings the whole cosmic monad puzzle pieces fully online, puts everything into place. And that's literally us returning to our new garden of Eden together again with those that are in frequency alignment with our soul signature, our true soul family. It's like a honing signal we send out to one another and then we magnetize each other back. Uh, once all of these inverted mirrors now fully clear, now we're going to just remind one another, so to say, of the beauty, even that lies within our shadows, okay, where we love ourselves and everybody else as we are. And this also dissolves these shadow realities, this whole artificial construct, architect, architecture, fully return to source, okay? So keep tuning in, keep igniting lighting everything up from inside your sacred crystal heart fully open come at one with all let everything else go as well as your, your own unique fractal of source here to shine bright in your own uniqueness there's only one of you here okay all right thank you thank you thank you so much love so many blessings i see it <laughs>